Okay. So man, was it Southwest? The value jet. Value jet, Southwest, one of them. Um I think it was value jet actually. And we arrive. We arrive in Detroit and we're supposed to go out. And they're like, um, ah, excuse me folks. Um we cannot leave right now. We don't have the proper manuals that we could do the checklist on this type of airplane and this type of airplane had this kind of upgrade and I'm like I'm gonna say what? I'm gonna say ha? I'm like uh uh some motherfucker flew here <laughs> someone flew the plane here what did they use? what did they use? and why? you can't use it too they're like oh yeah um the engines have recently upgraded, and the maintenance schedule is a little off. So we're gonna have them um, come look at a couple of things, and we're gonna have uh, the maintenance given to us. So I was like, "Whoa, whoa! Someone flew the fucker there! Call them! Hey, how did you get here? How did it go? What did you need to check? Because obviously you didn't check shit." <laughs> In my head, I'm like. How does that work? It'd be like, uh, um, my brother's a pilot too. I completely respect him. Incredibly hard, hard ass job. Would not want it on my bestest day. Can't imagine having a migraine and having to go, oh, you gotta go like this, gotta go like that, gotta go like this, and go all three. No, no, no. I cannot even imagine. And so, <laughs> so, I'm just figuring out. Somebody flew it there. Somebody flew the plane there with the wrong fucking manual. Not saying I wanted to be on that flight, but they did it with the wrong manual. And myself, I'm like, well, they can do it with the wrong manual. I said, I can do it with the wrong manual. You know, do, 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 do. You know, uh, monkey see, monkey do. You know, whatever. And I'm like, and I'm like I just didn't. I just didn't hear the captain say they don't have the manual. Did I? They're like, oh yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, you did. They're like, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. And I'm like, oh, I can't believe this. So, um, anyhow, another another story. We're about to land in Toledo, and this time actually they left Toledo on the itinerary. They, Detroit didn't say, fuck the wheels. Because he used to always do that. We'd be lined up and he'd be here in the shed. It'd be Friday, be Friday night or Friday afternoon. And I'd be like, yeah, just waiting. And I'm like, like, oh, there goes Toledo, folks. There goes Toledo. Um, if you had a, if you on a flight to Toledo, but we think it's a little light today. And like 40 people come up and go, what the hell, man? Why did you, why did you do that? And it's because of this reason or that reason. I think someone in Detroit just said, fuck the wheel. <laughs> Anytime I can do it, boom. Anytime I can do it, boom. They're gone. I got an ex there. I don't like the place. I never was into MASH. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> I eat deeps. Uh, whatever you want to say. <laughs> whatever you want to say. I'm like, I'd be like, hey, Dad, guess what they just did? He's like, they just canceled Toledo again, didn't they? And I'm like, yep. And I was trying to save monies. So I didn't have to park my car in Detroit and not only park it, but lose it every single freaking time it ever snowed. There's so many days, hours, days, weeks, whatever you want to call it. I was walking around in my dress shoes with slush and snow saying, where did I put the crayon this week? Put it over here. I put it over there. Put it over here. And the thing was, I was traveling also to see my friend in the other part of the country. So I was getting all the airports mixed up. <laughs> the whole fucking McGill I was talking about. <laughs> but anyhow, so one time, yeah, I'll go for this story now. Um, one time I went to Boston. I was going to Boston. I never drove in Boston my whole life. First of all, you want to talk about well, I talk about air travel and, and business travel and you can meet someone special. Bullshit. 
Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. You know what you need? You need bad toilet paper and people that are pissed because they didn't need anything. That's what you need. Um, you're not going to meet the love of your life. I think only one time I sat next to a, a woman that was decently attractive. Um, otherwise, you got schmucks like me, and all they want to do is talk, 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 or they just shut up and they want to play the armrest. Uh, man of war, it's mine, not yours. Because this is what males have to do in this kind of confined space. We have to certify our arm is being more stronger than the other bozo's arm. Why? I remember I was on a flight and it was hot and it was, they didn't run the air conditioning. I don't know. I'm trying to save money, whatever. And, um, and I'm like, man, I'm really hot. And this guy's like six, four. And he's like, think about how I am, man. He's like, I'm a small guy. So, you know, I was okay with the seat and everything. Okay. So anyhow, so let's go to Boston. Logan delayed once, delayed twice, boarded, unboarded, boarded, unboarded, boarded, unboarded. Talking 12 o'clock at night, Nico. 12 o'clock at night. I'm flying to Boston because it's bad weather. That, that's why we're delayed. I did not know the roads were from when original carriages, and I just decided, oh, put this here, put this here, put this here. I, didn't, I did not know that at all. Well, you know what I get? <laughs> My old friend of migraine, 1245. I'm trying to find a car in Boston. It's raining cats and dogs. Everybody was delayed. There's a bunch of uh, ruckus going on and everything else. And um, he pulls up a car and he's like, oh. he's like, um, we don't have the other car. The car got thrown out. Um, so we got this car. I go out to the car and keep in mind, when I get a migraine, I'm nauseous as well. Open the door. It's the wrong fucking car. It was the car that just got thrown up in. I come back and I go, Someone just threw up in that car, the car you tried to give me. And he's like, oh, did I? He's like, I'm bad. And I'm like, you're bad. Yeah, I would say that's bad. <laughs> and so he's like, all right, we'll get you another car. We'll get you another car. Kid you not, they pull up in another car. Someone puked in that one, too. I'm like, what the fuck? I just want to go somewhere and die. That's all I want to do is die. I was deboarded, unboarded, unboarded, deboarded, deboarded, unboarded. <laughs> we were delayed. The food was nil. Um, the snacks were not there. Um, I, I I don't know if I should have a heart attack or if my migraine is going to take me tonight to, to Neverworld and I'm not going to be able to sleep and I'll be puking the whole night. So, and now be that as it may, I show up at the hotel. I'll never forget this, man. Those roads. Ugh. This is way before the big dig and everything else. So if it's fixed, I, I, I'm I'm on a I'm on a filter there. But this is how it was when I was there. And I'm like, you go left, you go right, you go right, you go left, you go up, you go down, you go east, you go west. I I'm not good with directions. I'm not good with directions at all. Um, and you could tell me you go down the street and take a turn, and I'll go down the street and take the other turn. <laughs> that's just it. That's me. Yeah. Once again, 80 ton. Boy, oh, no, I don't think so. So anyhow, I get the hotel around ten. No, not ten. Sorry, I get the hotel one forty-five, two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning. I am out cold. I'm out cold. I'm in my clothes. I didn't even take off my clothes. I just walked in and went like that, which many times I did on while jogging. And so I get this call. I get this call. First, I get this. Kevin Berg, I'm like, yeah. They're like, Kevin Berg, I'm like, yeah. They're like, John, someone says on the phone for you. John's like, when are we going to show up to the audit, Kevin? When are we going to show up to the audit? It's fucking 1045. I'm completely out of it. He's like, what are you going to show up to the audit? What are you going to show up to the audit? This is a guy. I had walking pneumonia. Someone had a lung infection. And someone had, like, uh, mononucleosis or something like that. And he took us, and he's like, he's like, 
I need to deliver you three people. They all have different uh, illnesses. None of them, none of them are contagious though. <laughs> They're, like, <laughs> They're like, what do you have? I'm like, uh, I got the lung infection. They're like, what does that have? I go, they, she has the mono and he's got science issues. And they're like, so you're all sick and you're all here. And this was a manager talking. He's like, you're going to fuck up the whole thing, man. You're going to make everybody sick. I'm like, we're not contagious. He's like, bullshit, you're not contagious. I'm like, your boss doesn't know his ass from his, from his head in the hole in the ground. And you guys are here now auditing me. I'm like, man, if we're not bleeding from our eyes, he doesn't let us get off. Doesn't let us get off. So... <laughs> That's my Boston story for you. <laughs> I don't know if that went well or not, to be honest. It was such a nightmare. It seemed like that onboarding and offboarding process went on for three days in Detroit. I just spent three days onboarding and offboarding. And it was only like three hours. It's only like four hours. <laughs> but what? <laughs> the streets, I was just like, oh my god. The signs, the signs, the signs. Every once in a while, I'll wake up with a nightmare trying to go to the Boston Inn. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> if it's a carriage road, let's just pave it. Let's just pave it. Let's just pave it. Oh, yeah. That's our hero there. Do something good for humanity.